Content Disclaimer The views expressed in this video are solely those of the host, collaborator, and contributor, and do not necessarily represent the views of Royal Productions OWC LLC. We encourage diverse perspectives and open dialogue. If you have any concerns, please contact us at info at royalproductionsowc.com. Thank you for being a part of the RPOWC community. Welcome to the Hybrid Files and another episode on the Commodified American. We're going to look at the commodification of birth and babies. Mm. Now, in the previous episode, we talked about how body parts uh, have price tags and uh, cost in markets. And now we're going to look at the cost and the commodification, actually, not the cost, but the commodification of the womb, uh, giving birth in babies. <laughs> yeah. So, now, I don't know if you noticed, but there are adoptees coming out as adults talking about their harrowing experiences in the American adoption system, American foster care system, the America rehoming phenomenon, which has no cost. You can literally give your child away to a total stranger with no regulation and no, at, at no cost. You can literally get rid of your children if you want to. There's no backlash for that. You know, you keep it quiet, keep it to yourself. But, I mean, in the rehoming community, they know because, hey, you want a child? I no longer can care for this child. I don't want this child. This child does not fit what I need. Or, or, now that the laws have changed, I was forced to have this child. I feel no connection to this child. I need someone to take this child. I never wanted to be a mother. I never wanted to be a parent. I was forced into this. You know, that whole thing. Right? Right. And then there is the phenomenon I don't think you've noticed. Maybe you did. Maybe you have. More than me. That there's this upcoming issue about wombs and who possesses what. Hmm? Mm. And how that's becoming a commodity, how it's a point of contention, uh, frenetic contention sometimes between men and women mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and people who uh, identify as male or female. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole act of birth and babies. Right. 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 Um. I don't know if you've noticed, but you know I've noticed because I see it everywhere. <laughs> that to have a child is promoted as an opportunity for you as a woman to be complete. Now, didn't I say in a previous video that you come in this world holding complete and that when you actually land, that's when the picking starts? That's when the picking, you're not this, you're not this, you're not this, don't do this, do this, do this, a consistent, unrelenting breakdown of who who you are so that you'll never know who you are and nobody really cares about who you are. They only care about what they have projected and the value that they have projected upon you and your person. And sometimes not even that. Because some, some, some kids, a, a gaggle of kids, a, a great number, oh my God, so many kids are just not wanted. That's why we have a foster care system. That's why we have adoption and rehoming. Because kids are here for us. We're not necessarily here for them. They are a commodity in which we pull into ourselves 
pull into our reality, pull into our existence for whatever reasons we tell ourselves. Sometimes they are pulled in against our will. If you um, talk with some women and their uh, negative experiences. And I never wanted the child. I got this traumatic thing happened to me and a child was produced. And now I'm physically attached to someone who harmed me. And so, <clears throat> and so, and you, you have this backdrop of political pressure of birth rate, because birth rate connotates a product that is missing. How about we go back to this book, this, this book I like? You know, uh, the light, the light, rethinking commodification, right? It actually says that at the same time, simultaneously, there is a birth glut and a birth drought, meaning there's missing babies. There's missing white babies. There's a glut of black and brown babies, uh, disabled babies, mentally uh, in, uh, challenged babies, uh, not the right type of representation of the parent who want white babies. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because it, it's a commodity. These children are things. These are unwanted things, and these are very wanted things, or should it be like this? Yes, wanted, not that much. And if you're that, but you're disabled, but your mental your health is not, I, I can't, how do I deal? I don't want to deal. I want a child, a toddler even, because I want something that has to do with me that's in my, under my control my purview my dominion i want i i i i i i i i i i i want i want i want it i want it i see it i get it i have it it's mine it the child mine right i was just looking at a short youtube short and it uh the boy I believe it was a boy and he was crying for his mother and he had left been left alone and the cops he I, apparently he cried so much and I, I guess it distressed the neighbors and the neighbors called the police and the police showed up and he said well you know and the baby's like very articulate uh my I want someone to help me my mother uh, went to the store and I'm scared and somebody please help me and he's crying in his little boy little baby voice you know crying for his mother and his mother uh ultimately the clip comes and the mother comes in it's like oh well, what's the problem I just went to see my grandparent your you know grandma for a minute and 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 the, the clip shows the apartment domicile residence it's a big apartment and he's the only person there very scary for a child and people in the comments were commenting how the officer was not was called to the child mother called to the child my opinion is that nobody likes kids they see the truth of you and we don't like truth tellers even when they're old we don't like them and when they're new, we really don't like them. Like, shut up. They don't fit. Or you use the opportunity to make a baby thinking that baby ha uh, would be a solution to your romantic relationship issues. And it turns out, no, that's not it. That didn't work. Because people see babies as a commodity, as a fix, as a product that is advertised, this shall make you whole and complete. I just need a baby that looks like me because it'll make me whole and complete. Okay. And when the baby face is over, then what? 
When they got a mouth just like you got a mouth, then what? When they got an opinion just like you got an opinion, then what? When they do things that you do not agree with, don't align yourself with, they th their mind is completely opposite. And truth be told, if, you, if someone would ask you, give you like a truth serum, you say, I don't even like the motherfucker. Then what? In the previous video, I said, I was of the opinion, I stated that I believe a lot of people were brought here under false pretenses and really shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be at an 8 billion count. I, I'll go further as to say that heterosexual people like me are actually the uncommon because it goes to nature's ability to uh, self-insert internal governors for population control. Where are all these people making babies come from? Manufacture, illusion, hey, you need to make a baby. Why? Well, labor. <laughs> labor. Rich people don't do their own work. They, they they farm that shit out. They ain't trying to do uh, first line work. They're not trying to do that shit. They need your labor. They need your babies for labor. I'll put the cl uh, clip that I saw. I think it was on TikTok. The man literally admitted, you know, the, the fact that we, we, we can't get labor because all these abortions that are happening. He's talking about white people. Nobody cares about black children and nobody cares about black mothers. They may care about brown babies a little bit more, but it's a brown baby. It's not a white baby. So you get this veneer, this projection, this psychological uh, massage of how the world is supposed to work. At least this is what they tell you how it's supposed to work. And then when it doesn't work that out that way, who who gets screwed over? The child. And then that child who is still a child but grows into an adult and then you're you're like what the fuck is wrong with you because you're not allowed to be disabled or mentally unwell you're not allowed to do that i must extract from you i can't extract from you if you're disabled or mentally unwell i can't do that i can't. what the fuck am i supposed to do with you you are of no value if i cannot use you Okay. Damn. You, that's this is the world you're bringing your child into. They have no value unless they're, uh, you know, ex accessible to be used, either by you, by someone, by themselves. The existence is not enough. And and let's not even bring spirituality and religion into it. There's something really wrong with you and you have to like fix yourself once you get here because you were born wrong. Whatever the wrongness is, like an illusional projection of other people or just, you know, you don't fit society's ideal of well-being. That whole, that whole market, the well-being market, the wellness market, you must always be well. Why are you sick? What's wrong with you? Don't you need to work while you're sick? The whole idea that a woman is incomplete if she doesn't have kids. That's a product. That's a, that's a product to be sold to women so that they can be motivated to have babies. Whether the man stays or not, whether he's helpful or not, we need that body. What? The body is here. I'm going to include two clips that I witnessed, uh, that I watched. So you can get an idea where I'm getting these ideas from. And I'm not the only one that has these ideas. But I, I, it is it, it, uh, the act of parenting in Americans' filter perspective is a product to be sold to groups of people who may or may not be the best at it, should be doing it. Uh, it's a numbers thing. You just need a lot of people.
because someone's got to be at the bottom. Otherwise, this shit doesn't work. You think your merit and your your ability and skill set serves you here? No, it serves someone else because they get to use that. When remember when I was talking about mm, not the relationship, uh, relationship, uh, I think it was. No, I think it was about uh, human, the human body. And I think I did bring up the ability, the, the, the hypocrisy in America about wanting people to be able to pick themselves up by the bootstraps. But everything, everything has a middleman. You can't directly do it, right? Your skill set is initially supposed to benefit you. It's your skill set. But in this system, you have to give that skill set away for cheap. Because nobody gets paid like a CEO. Oh. Eh? Not today. Maybe it was possible when the tax rate for the wealthy and the rich was 90%. But Reagan kind of fucked that up. Yes, he said, fuck these, fuck these Negroes and fuck these not right white people. Because they have the audacity to not be the right type of white, meaning to align themselves with white supremacy properly. This is why you get poor whites and which rich white people uh, start um, coining phrases like white trash. Because poor white people, disabled white people, mentally ill white people are an embarrassment. They're like the family member you don't talk about and pretend not to exist except when you need to use them for something. And, you know, they'll go along because, hey, you told them something that they, uh, okay, I'm easy. Shit, I'm better than a black person. I don't need no money. And that all idea of legacy I'm sorry, boo-boo. That's a scam. I told you in the previous video, legacy is how, pe how people remember you and how they feel after being in your presence. What you have done for the expanse of the collective, have you left something positive? Not necessarily did you make a person. You fucked and made a human. Ooh, we. Ooh, ooh, you so special. Basically, you followed a, a, an, an instinct. <laughs> Boom, baby, nine months. Woohoo. Okay. Such an accomplishment. That was a choice. Well, for, most, for the most part, you hope it was a choice. You hope it was a choice. People are going away from that. People want, I've even heard in some social media posts that people want it to be normalized that people don't want babies. So it's moving away from that because people are kind of, this, this product isn't giving what it was supposed to give because babies come here with agendas and purposes and things that they have to do for the community. You know, they, you know, if they white, you, you better, you better do what white people say if you white. Mm -hmm. That's your job. Your first initial job being a non-melanated person is to be white. That's your job. That's your whole freaking purpose. You ain't got to really be good at anything else. It's just being white and that hearing and just looking at the context clues and go, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is my skill set. Okay, I'm going to be white. Right. Okay, I am white. Right. This is what I am to do. Okay, sure. Got a, got a job out 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 the vagina. Shit, okay. And, and it, it don't really require much skill set. It's just, just not be black. Okay. And don't, <laughs> don't even go into the black side of it because, you know, if there is an underclass that is slated to be an underclass, the black community has all kinds of hope on their babies. They don't get to come here and just be. We got to get the fuck up. Well, you can't just come in here and just be 
you, I mean, you're a reflective reflection on me. I can't just have you just be and exist. Who does that? Where did you do that? No, I'm sorry. But uh, you got a job, boo boo. I brought you here for a reason, and it's for my reasons. I don't really care about your reasons. Your reasons should be my reasons. Did you not know you had a job on day one? Did you not know that? Like, you can't really annoy me. Um, you can't really diverge from the path that I have set you on. You can't do that. Um, I have to like you. I have to be able to do whatever the fuck I want to do still, even though you're here. Mm. Okay. No one's arguing that you shouldn't, you shouldn't erase who you are because you have a child, but your mindset to bring them here, if you did make the choice to bring them here, should not just be about you. My opinion shouldn't be about you. I think I mentioned in the in the last video, there should be a whole sacred ceremony to bringing kids here. And it shouldn't just be because a pop off happened because you had a wild night. Or because you were forced. Because that I think that happens more than the whole delusion that people are actually, you know, hmm that nuclear family i want one for my own and you know it's a going joke in the 60s and 70s men really don't want to be married they just know that they in order to be accepted by other men where's your spouse why are you a solitary singular man roaming around my vicinity and you ain't got nobody other men do not trust that man because that is uh some throwback from the past of solitary males roaming around your shit like dude what the fuck is up with you and why why don't you have a partner where are your kids see we are about family here and i don't trust your singular ass are you gonna try and fuck my wife are you gonna try and fuck my children or my daughter like what what the fuck is your what's what's your what's your deal dude I don't, I don't know if dudes talk about this this unspoken mistrust of a single dude around other dudes who have families and spouses and that they don't, they kind of like, he's still single? What the fuck are you doing over here for? There's like a, some subconscious, ooh. Like, you cool, you friends and stuff, but you need to get somebody. Why are you over here single as fuck and hanging around us so much? Like, there are people who are fine with it. I'm not talking about the exceptions. I'm talking about why there's still some, you have really weird old re fears from the past about strangers, people like small towns really do do this. Like, who the fuck are you and where the fuck you come from? I don't know your face. If you are a, a male, you threaten the other males because now, who are you? You're solitary. You are unknown. You are possibly dangerous. Where's your shit at? Uh, maybe a man might trust another man who has a family and a spouse. But men, for the most part, are looking at that dude with no nothing to tie him or make him... Like, to other men who have something to lose, look at that man. Oh, that motherfucker don't have nothing to lose. Right? So it's this product that men have created that's not nat ne necessarily natural. It was created by men who say, hey, if I'm going to get the power that I want, I need to control the other men and I need to sell them something so that they won't be up in my shit and leave my shit alone. 
because all of this is my shit, and you can have this much of it. You can have that much for it. I'm going to give you a leg. I'm going to give you an idea of legacy. You can run the women the way you want, because I got the women that I think are going to pr- propagate me uh, perfectly and to the point where uh, incest is okay, because, you know, pure blood and all that shit. You think they're going out into the to the regular folk? They not. They not. Anyway, so you have these packages that get presented to men, and now men are not happy because the packet, the manufacturer, the corporation that manufactured that promoted this package is now coming apart at the seams and the 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 entitlement the the you come to the counter and I can't get the product that I've been like advertised at for so many years I can't get that product now the product's just not available anymore are you crazy I have to have legacy I need a baby to literally put me into the the perpetuation of the universe because that's the point of that child Fuck what the child wants. Fuck what the child needs. That child is here for me. It's not the other way around. If it's one way, it's going to be one way for me and my benefit. That's what legacy is about. I just get you here. And your genetics it makes it, every, everything is, is accomplished in that point. Because your genetics, okay. But you're an asshole, or nobody likes you, your kid don't like you, the woman you made the baby with don't like you, nobody in the in the community trusts you, you have low character, you just flinging it here and there, and that's your legacy. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people here who shouldn't be here. Just brought under false pretense, because that legacy bullshit, rich, poor, in the middle, I'm going to have a baby to fix the relationship. I'm going to have a baby because I need somebody to carry my name. What? So basically, anything that this system has basically promoted or provided, it really does not give you what you need. It has to make, you have to make another human in order to, feel that you have fulfilled a purpose because anything else there's nothing else really you just there's no no creative thought as to what else you could do besides making another human being and bringing them into a system that is literally false full of illusion hypocrisy irony and just on its way to ruin and become worse of a store than it already is with bad, with no return policy. I, you can't return a kid. There is no return policy. There is no refund policy. Although there is a rehoming phenomenon happening in America with children to strangers from people who said, hey, I'm in this child's life forever, except when I don't want them anymore. And then you can, can I go on Facebook and um, rehome these people? I don't want them more. They don't they they don't fit my expectation. And I just really they had an expectation that this would go the way I thought it would go. And it's not going the way I thought it should go. And they're really like being a, the antithesis of the expectations that I had when I said I would be in their life forever and I would adopt them and be their parent. I would like to end that right now because it's not giving what it what it was supposed to give because the commodified mind has those types of expectation. Fuck that child. That child's here for me, not the other way around. They should be glad I have allowed them to breathe earthly air. I, you should be grateful that I brought you here. You should be grateful that uh, I assumed your care. When no one else would. You should be grateful for that. Hmm. Which means I get to treat you like shit or give you the bare minimum and fuck you. Because at the end of the day, adoption is a money a money domain. It's a money market. Rehoming, even though there's no cost, there is a 
product that is being allowed to exist unregulated now. And people, I, I, the FBI can't tell when someone's lying. What the fuck do you think you're able to do? And they have national resources that extend internationally to be applied to international characters and actors of nefarious and questionable reputations. How the fuck do you think you're going to be able to vet a stranger to house and care for your child? You're literally just passing them around so that they can get traumatized with a, with a few good, good outcomes. Which if you to put it as a ratio, it's, it's just, mm -mm, that's not good enough. Y'all, y'all fucking it up. Fucking it up, fucking it up. But. I'm not going to talk too long on this. I actually want you to tell me I'm full of shit and, well, don't just tell me I'm full of shit to say I'm just full of shit. You know, don't troll for troll's sake. Like, have a purpose in your statements of telling me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Just, can you just put in the comments with some, you know, I like them sources. I want to go read, you know, I like reading what you got to where you got your thought processes from. I'm going to put where I got my thought processes from and what I've been looking at so you can see them um, and see, yeah, I see how you can come to that inclusion. But look over here. The statistics over here say that's bullshit and that's not actually a thing that affects the community at large. That's very rare and uncommon. Go ahead. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But right now, the commodification of birth, babies, hmm, well, I mean, let's look at the womb. That's a bit controversial now, isn't it? Oh, no, there were so many people who wanted a womb for their very own. I mean, I don't know about you, but, you know, that whole roller coaster of every 28 days, the pro extra expensive product and, you know, the possibility of having somebody live up in there for nine months and destroy your whole body and the violence that comes with it once the due date is um, imminent and, you know, <sighs> who knew other people wanted to experience that? Okay, I mean, if you want to, if you've got the scientific know-how. To do that, I've heard of the successful uh, transplant of wounds to other people with a specific, um, uh, what is it? Uh, I don't know if it's an illness, but a specific thing happening with their womb that this womb transplant can help them. But it's a very narrow uh, uh, group of people that can do that. They haven't really expanded that ability, although I know that's coming to people who want to have wombs inside their bodies because they don't have wombs inside their bodies initially. Okay. You want to go through that? Really? You want to? Okay. Hey, you want to have urinary issues for the rest of your life? Go ahead, boo-boo. Okay, you want to have, you know, because this is the thing about birthing. You got to get that snap back. You can't be in America just because you having a baby. I don't see why you got to stop. What? You sick? It's basically the national American mindset of Ike Turner. You a sorry motherfucker. Get up on that. I need you to get up on that stage, uh, Tina. I need you to get up on that stage. We need to make some money. This I've been waiting for this all my life. You gonna be like every other motherfucker I done made famous? I don't give a fuck about you and your birth. That was a choice. Who told you to get pregnant? Because that's an ignorance, right? I, I can't really understand that in 2023, people are surprised that babies show up after having sex. I can give a pass to victims of uh, trauma, but 
people who actually engage in the act consensually and and without protection or any type of monthly uh uh you know manipulation of their cycle and they're actually surprised that they got a baby in 2023 you surprised that sex brings babies I just didn't understand. I didn't know. know. Like, really? You still have the mindset that, oh, no, it has to happen a couple. You have to fuck a, oh, you have to have uh, relations a lot of times before a baby comes. No, boo boo. It can happen the first time. My people don't know how fertile they are, how virile they are. My people just don't know anything about their own body. They just know what the advertising says the body is supposed to do. I should have said that in the previous video about the, the human body and uh, the, the sexual exploits it's supposed to be able to, you know, do in order to satisfy partners and shit. That's a thing. Right? Right? But I'm going to let you engage with each other, maybe have a little verses of your own in the comments about your specific birth experience and what was told to you before you had the birth experience. Like, were you the type of person who romanticized the idea of being a parent and it came to fruition? There's no regrets. Uh, it, it was exactly the way you expect it to, it to be. And you're fine with all of the uh, um, uh, heavy lifting that comes with parenting. Or are you the one that was gun ho and then you've rubber met road and it's like, I don't want, I, I, th no, this is not it. I may love these little munchkins, but I really wish I hadn't had them. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know there's some sensitive experiences that re that does not have consent in it. And babies come from that, unfortunately, because we have uh, apparently a glut of the wrong type of people engaging in reproductive acts by force or deception. That whole, ooh, let me be in the act and remove the condom. Really, bitch? That's why you got to be careful of the dudes. You got to make sure they don't want kids. Like, they don't want kids more than you don't want kids. Because they'll go through all the things to make sure they ain't having no babies with you. But, I, you know, I have an opinion that some people are just, they full. They full of things. They're really full of things. And this, the mouth is saying one thing, but the body's doing something different. It's like, okay, you say you didn't want it and you didn't want it necessarily by this person. But your behavior, man, says you about it, about it all day. That's my rant. That's my opinion. Uh, counter me in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Mm -hmm. And I'll be uh, seeing you in the next episode. Episode 7 will be the commodification of wealth. Now, how about that? I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy Galaxy! Mm -hmm.